Welcome to our coding challenge video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many JavaScript developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how does the spread element magically turn functions into not functions? Let's dive into this puzzling scenario together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's start by examining the function you created called double. This function is intended to take an array and return a new array with all values doubled. In your implementation, you use recursion and the spread operator. However, there's a small mistake in how you're returning the result of the recursion. The issue arises because when you call double on the rest of the array, it returns a single value instead of an array. This causes the spread operator to fail, leading to unexpected results. To fix this, you should ensure that your base case returns an array. Instead of returning just a number, wrap it in an array. With this adjustment, your function will work correctly. Now calling double with an array like 1, 2, 3 will yield the expected result of 2, 4, 6. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue here is about returning the right type from a function. In this case, the function should return an array instead of a single number. If you try to destructure a number, it will lead to a syntax error. Always ensure you're working with the correct data type. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The error occurs because the function is returning a non-iterable value. Specifically, the issue arises when the array length is 1. To fix this, change the return statement to wrap the result in an array. This will ensure it returns an iterable. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.